Wow. So excited. They, uh, remember, is it? Well, look at you, I'm going to go on them. Aha. We we about two to three weeks ago, I made uh, a video about this place that will be using our west from um, from the farm to to add to our our garden. Now I'm back with the report. Now this is what we got. It's still growing, and uh, some places I'm like wow. And that's why I always advocate that zero waste is, uh, I think, is the only way for you to stay afloat. This section, we down to this place, we are fenced to all to this place. We still have some work going the other side, and after the fence there. So this is a the pilot stage, and look at what we are got, getting here. Can you imagine? This is spinach. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see how green and beautiful it is? This is actually what uh, we advocate for. So what you do is that when you have when you have um, a farm, uh, I always say that everything in the farm is supposed to be used up. Everything in the farm is supposed to be used up so that uh, you do not uh, you do not have a farm and then you do not have a farm and you you throw away your waste you throw away probably you have a fish farm you throw away the water from the fish you throw away from your poultry you throw away from your livestock or maybe from your pigs and at the end of the day you keep complaining oh price of things are high price of things are high you are supposed to use them for another project that is the only way you stay afloat in agriculture it is the only way at all this ranch we make sure that we practice a zero waste agricultural model so that we integrate all these things together so why the, the bible actually says that so so that the, the surplus of another section will be able to you know take care of the deficiency of the other one so while we are having issues in the poultry uh, probably because of feed we are now using the waste to pro uh, produce spinach now the spinach is going to cover for the feed that we are spending on the poultry that way we do not run out of business while we are using um, the fish and the price of fish is high also you use the intestine from the fish as a protein source for your uh, for your pigs that way you, you you are getting money everywhere why you you turn the uh, the waste from the pig you can turn it into maggot and you use the maggot to feed your fish and feed your um your poultry too even the the water from the fish you can channel it from the other place, if you look at that side, that is where we are channeling the water from all the ponds into the garden. And look at how they are doing. Show them the garden. Look at that they are doing. They are doing wonder. And they are just coming up. They are doing wonderfully well. So I will always advise us, we need to farm the right way. We need to start taking farming seriously. We need to be innovative. Stop farming the way we are doing formally. You just get a fence, you just build a farm, put one security man, and then you want them to make millions for you. It's a recipe for disaster. And let me tell you something. Doing one thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the recipe for disaster. Until I come your way again, subscribe if you have not done so. My name is Odi Simeon and this is Odi's Ranch. Thank you for watching.